Uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, the working of an high level amplitude modulator. In high level AM, the modulator produces a high power in the final RF amplifier stage of the uh, transmitter. So, usually, uh, th these are the stages here. Uh, this is a basic uh, modulator diagram. And after that, we have a series of amplifier here. Then, usually, this will be the final uh, RF power amplifier. And that output is fed to the uh, this antenna. And uh, this RF stage, it is of a class C amplifier. Yeah. Uh, to understand this high level AM, I mean, to understand the high level amplitude modulator, uh, first we will see the class C amplifier because the output stage of the transmitter is a high power class C amplifier. And the class C amplifier conducts for only a portion of the positive of its input cycle you look at this okay this is the class c amplifier an npn transistor an input signal sinusoidal is given and uh, th this is the vb junction uh, n pn this junction is a pn junction and uh, for the collector there is a tuned circuit that is a tuned circuit and uh, tank circuit or uh, tuned circuit tuned for uh, this carrier signal L and C is a tank circuit and uh, VCC is connected through this tank circuit. And uh, similarly, the same signal is coupled to the load. Usually, this RL will be of an antenna. And how this amplifier uh, amplifies the signal. And when positive cycle comes, when positive cycle comes, VB junction is forward biased and hence the start conducting. Current will be start conducting. The output is the output is simply this positive cycle with amplified one. But amplification factor depends on the collector current. This, this will be the output of the collector current will be start flowing like this collector current. And uh, whenever the negative cycle comes, this VB is reverse bias. This is reverse bias and no conduction means collector current is zero. But during the positive cycle, this capacitor is fully charged. This capacitor is fully charged. And when the negative cycle comes, when this transistor is switched off, it will be start discharging. So that's the one nipper. we are having the negative cycle here. Okay, this will be the negative cycle. In this way, class C amplifier works. The same principle is applicable for the our high level amplitude modulator. And if we remove this one, okay, and then VCC we have, this is the tank circuit and coupled here and Q1. Carrier signal is input is given here, and this is a class C amplifier. We already understood how the a class C amplifier works. And once again, if the signal is absent, means when the message signal or modulating signal is absent, this is a T1. Okay, this is the transformer T1, and this is the transformer T2. Uh, when the message signal is absent, the output is also zero here. Only VCC appears. For the carrier signal, again, the working principle is when positive cycle comes, it conducts. Negative cycle comes, it is off. But the capacitor will be start discharging. So this is in the absence of the message. Means the collector current pulse cause the tuned circuit to oscillate at the region frequency and uh, apply it. When the modulating signal goes, okay, again, the tuned circuit reproduces the negative portion of the carrier. And when... When we start giving the message signal, for example, this is the message signal, one sinusoidal signal here, VCC, and this will be the VCC, VCC, and it will be VCC plus VM sin omega T. Okay, this, when uh, the signal, when message signal is given here, this will be coupled to the secondary of the transformer, and it will be shifted above the VCC line. Okay, so this, uh, again, uh, VCC, whenever negative cycle comes, so this will be, means the collector current will be subtracted, means that whatever the voltage is, that will be get subtracted with this message signal. Yeah. And whenever the positive cycle comes with respect to VCC, it is get added up. Means this curve is VCC plus VM sin omega MT. VM sin omega MT. So this is the message signal. In this case, it is given. And how the modulation takes place, we will see. Uh, the modulating output is coupled to the secondary. 
the secondary winding gap is connected through a VCC here. And if the modulating signal is zero, if the entire signal is zero, then the voltage across the secondary T1 is zero. The class C amplifier output is simply a carrier. For example, in this case, this is a message signal is zero. But we we have a carrier here. We have a carrier. Means in this case, whenever the message signal object, it generates a carrier. Means output is a simply carrier signal. When message signal is negative, okay, when the message, when the modulating signal occurs, the wave voltage of the modulating signal across appears, and once again the voltage then applied to the class C amplifier, causing the amplitude of the current pulses. Means it carrier okay, it will be start conducting whenever positive cycle comes. It start conducting, yeah. So that is shown here. Okay. This is the signal connected to the collector here. And whenever the positive cycle comes, means whenever we, we submitted the sinusoidal signal, the sinusoidal signal carrier, so carrier pulses, whenever the carrier pulses comes, like these carrier pulses are applied to this VB base emitter junction, it conducts only a positive cycle, means the collector current will be modulated here, okay. Collector current is modulated. In this way, it is modulated. Means what actually it is doing, it switch arms, okay. It switch arms only the positive cycle. You look at this, at this point, it is a VCC. Yeah, VCC here, okay. It conducts only that direction. Whenever this cycle comes, means collector current is zero. Again, once at this comes, again, there is a subtraction appears, okay. This will be get subtracted here. This is a subtracted in VCC. VCC minus this signal that that will be the one then transistor will start conducting by the carrier only at this point only output okay it is nothing but acts as a switching device it switches on and off on and off this VB junction makes on and off so on off on off on off so like that collector current will be makes a on and off and when the transistor is off it generates a, means the capacitor is discharged during the positive cycle, that will be get discharged. Yes, again, get discharged, conducts, get discharged, conducts, get discharged. So in this way, this is a modulated signal appeared in the this primary and secondary and same signal will be connected to the antenna. In this way, high level AM, works yeah. during when when message signal is zero simply carrier of this because this this will be of a uh, will be get subtracted during the positive cycle of the carrier signal base emitter junction is uh, transistor is powered by then transistor start conducting already new cycle is reverse power. but this tuned circuit generates a this negative cycle 